Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, major shout out to my girl Trina Trin. And if don't nobody know who Trina Trin is, a dynamic woman of God that can play that organ and sing her butt off. Beautiful woman of God, inside and out. And she always posts stuff on Facebook. She's always humble. And, and, and I just thought about what she said on her little comment on Facebook. And she made me come back and do this title. <laughs> to the ministers of music and pastors and ministers and reverends. Just because that woman you date, <laughs> that's, your, that's the woman you date, that don't mean that's going to be your first lady. That don't mean she is first lady material and that's who God have to be as your wife. Mm. Minister of music, same way. Just because that woman you dating, that's your that's the woman you dating, but that don't necessarily mean that don't necessarily mean she is your wife. Mm. Oh, train a train, what a word. What a word. God almighty. I know I done deal with a lot of that in my own life. And you got so many women right now that's caught up in, oh, I'm talking to a preacher. And just because they talking to a preacher, they think that God then gave them the gift to get up and speak. <laughs> and some of them don't know the word of God at all. And some so many preachers going, so many preachers are dating anything. Too many ministers of music dating anything. Too many deacons dating anything. Because when you look at the qualifications of a deacon, you also look at the qualifications of a deacon's wife. <laughs> Even a pastor and a first lady, you look at the qualification of how they're supposed to be. And there's so many women just getting caught up in the fact of, I'm dating the minister of music. I'm dating the pastor. Oh, I like what you said, Trina Trina. Trin. It's more than putting on a hat, first ladies. It's more than putting on a hat and sitting on the front row, thanking you all this and thanking you all that. But not everybody. Well, I got I to gotta stand up and tell the truth with you on this. Everybody that's in your life, ain't that, that don't mean that they're going to be your wife or your husband. No. See, we get so caught up in the look, the fame and the fortune and the fame and, oh, we out front. See, I got a problem with that. There's too many ministers and, and ministers of music and reverends and pastors doing stuff for a show. If God ain't in it, I don't want no part of it. I'm sorry. You ain't finna drag me down with your mess. If God ain't in it, I'm not following it. Because the Bible teaches me plainly, clearly. You move away from all this negative stuff. Yeah. Though God will put you in certain places so you can reveal things to people and even, even tell them about his good word. But at the same time, God not going to leave you where no junk is because God don't bless no mess. God is a God of moving forward, not backwards. And everybody, there's a lot of people right now dating the minister of music or dating the minister. And they know that they ain't right for that minister. They know half the time because of the way they living. And when you look at how you live, and see, that's what's so important to me. When I meet a woman, I want to know how her attitude is, how she is with her kids. But most of all, how is her relationship with God? Not religion. How is her relationship with God? Oh, that means a lot to me. Because if we two can't walk together down the same path, ain't no use to me wasting my time. Mm. That's why I said in that video a long time ago, everybody preaching wasn't called to preach. You got some people that don't call themselves to preach. It's a lot of people been put in position that don't even need to be in position. And I'm not judging. I'm talking about the Bible and the qualifications of how you're supposed to be. And you got some ministers right now dating anybody and trying to make them become their wife. And then wondering why when they make them become their wife, things ain't working out right. Now, people got to change on their own. You can't change a person. Oh, shout out to you, Trina Trina. I love this. Just because you dating that woman don't mean she is she is fit to be your wife. <laughs> I done seen some first ladies that didn't know nothing about the word of God. I ain't lying and I'm not judging. They get up and don't know nothing about the word of God because they caught in the people. They caught in wearing their hats and wearing their suits and ain't ain't really nothing about them that's that's just first lady material. First lady got to be almost deeper than the pastor because you got to go through the same thing with your husband. It's too many weak first ladies and it's too many weak pastors. A weak pastor, you got a weak church. Why? Because you got the congregation running the pastor. No. <laughs> People with no vision will perish. That's what the Bible say. 
It's too many people got their own vision and not concentrating on what God told them. And when you look at this whole dating thing, that's why I say if you are a Christian and you really are following the will of God, you, you won't accept anything. And that's not, that's not bragging and boasting. God don't want you to accept anything. God wants you to have the best. We done lived our life, our whole life. We've been going after who we want. So why not make a change and just say, God, bless me with who I need? Mm. Though we are not perfect, we are imperfect people, but I know we can make it. Show me my wife. Send me my wife. I didn't say send me no hoe. And I'm not talking bad about our women. Because you got too many men going out the hoes. And you got too many hoes going out the thugs. And then when you put that together, what you got? A baby in the middle. That's lost and confused. Mm. Old, old saying, you can't turn no hoe into a housewife. You know, somebody don't understand what I just said when I said that. See, we can't change nobody. See, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but God can turn a hoe into a beautiful wife. Oh. God can take your past and, oh, make it look like it wasn't even there. Because there are some people that we call hoes, men. Them same women you call them hoes are praise and worshipers now. Can you look at their future, where they at now, and stop looking at what they was? So when you date, remember this. Everybody that's with you, you might go through five, four, four or five more women because you're getting caught up in who you want to be with. Nah. You notice that a lot of times, especially with us men, a lot of times we are we are attracted to, men and guys sometimes are attracted to a woman that don't have nothing to do with church, nothing to do with God. And they try to make it work. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say this loud and clear and boldly. You cannot get a woman off the streets. And she want to keep living her street life mentality. And you can't be a Christian and try to make it work. It's not going to work. A woman got to be willing to change herself. A man got to be willing to change himself. The problem is nobody want to change and they hook up anyway. Ah. Man, I love my black women. I love all women. I love my black women for sure, though. And I'm not showing favoritism on black women, but that's what I love because I'm black. I love to see my sisters going to church and serving God, praising God. I hate to see the ghetto sisters on the, on, on the street still cussing everybody out. <laughs> they got more goals. The women got more goals in their mouth than men do now. Oh, how unattractive that is to me. But that's me, and I'm not judging. When I look at Romans and when they tell me to treat my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, that's me. I'm not judging nobody. If you want to put goals in your mouth and have a million tattoos on your body, that's you. But me, in my house, I'm going to represent God. I'm going to keep my body holy and acceptable. That's why I try to get up and train every day, work out, eat right foods, and drink a lot of water, drink my fluids, take my vitamins, because I want to live a long time. But I don't know when I'm going to leave this earth. And I know why I'm here. I want to be, I want to share my life and be happy with somebody that God blesses me with. Not with somebody I think I'm supposed to be with. So remember this minister of music. I know a lot of minister of music don't went through this because hey, I see they give me all kind of comments all the time. Man, I had to leave her alone. Or even the women that's minister, that, that, uh, that are minister of music, they'll tell you I had to leave him alone. JT, he wasn't for me. But you told me, I shouldn't, you know, I, I, hey, the Bible say you should know a tree by its fruits. Come on, y'all. What are you going out there? So to the ministers and the pastors, they know this, though. But somebody might not know this. Just because you date that person, and you can't make them your wife. You got to let God give you your wife. Bible say man find wife, him that find a wife find a good thing. God has showed favor on them. And then he turned right back around. He said, you love your wife as Christ loved the church. The respect you should have towards your wife. The love. The heart. Mm. It's too many people cussing each other out in these relationships. I know pastors that cuss their wives out. Why in the world would you cuss your own wife out? God, I know things get bad. <laughs> but calling your wife all kind of B's and H's? Come on, man. And then getting up in the pool pit, and, and then you don't even want to repent, first of all. And then you want to show everybody else how to live. No, look at Jesus and how Jesus was. Jesus was pure. Still is. 
holy and acceptable. Not once did he do anything bad. Not once. And all the temptations that Jesus went through. And we, we call ourselves Christians and represent him. And we can't wait on him when he want to bless us. Oh, we can't wait on him. We got to get who we want. Mm. I done went through that a lot in my life. And you can have the time off top and tell that that woman ain't for you. That man ain't for you. But you're not judging. So what do you do? You give them a chance anyway. But when you look at the word of God, <laughs> you know they ain't gonna be they ain't gonna be for you. God Almighty. So I just had to do this video, man. And big shout out to you, Trina Trend. I love you, girl. Down here in Dallas, always behind you 100 percent Keep doing what you're doing. Because God is showing favor on you. God bless.